Hi again, so it's day 11 of my 90 day challenge and this is Mother Nature 1, me 0. <laughs> In uh, this part of the Northeast there was a storm that came through last night, rain, freezing rain, sleet, whatever, and I didn't think it was as slippery as it was, went to take the dog out and yeah, right on my back down several bluestone steps uh, it turns out bluestone is not very forgiving and i'm definitely older and i don't bounce as well as i once did uh so super super sore and of course when it happened i looked down at my watch and i was like yep and you can't even call out to work today because it's too late so it's okay it's all good you just you know I went in, walked around like a little grandma slash tortoise, not even sure. There's something weird on the wall behind me, sorry. Um, and, you know, made it through the day. And that's what you do. It's my, my students are great. I looked at them and said, listen, these things need to get passed out. Go for it. <laughs> and they were always willing to help, which I'm super, super grateful for. Uh, it is amazing how when you ask, how many people will step up and, and really truly help you out. Uh, so it's it's a really nice thing. And I made it through the day, you know. Um, being a mom of a two-year-old with a bad back right now, it's, it's interesting. But again, he's a trooper. And I just tell him mommy needs help. And he's absolutely willing to help. He's, he's excited to do that. So despite the pain and the not good, there's so many things to be grateful for, um, throughout the entire day, you know, after it being super, super icy, it got better. The sun was out, you know, it, it turned out to be a, a very, very nice day. And, uh, throughout the day, there was just so many moments of people helping each other out, which was truly nice to see a nice blessing. Um, you know, it just, it's good. It's when you slow down to actually pay attention to all of those good things that, you know, things can really come together and you can really see what you truly have around you in life. And, uh, so I'm just hoping, you know, tomorrow I'm not quite as sore. I've got one more day, got to make it through one more day of work and then we get to have Christmas break. And then, you know, hopefully I get to slow it down a little bit. Uh, heating pads will be my friend right now for, for a little while. And we'll go from there. I'm grateful. I don't think I broke anything. It doesn't feel like that. It just feels like I really hit myself hard and kind of like ratcheted things around and, and so forth. Uh, this evening I was supposed to get a delivery and, you know, Amazon said they delivered it. And I was like, but it's not there. And so luckily they take pictures. Didn't know that. And uh, I'm like, yep, that's my front door. And I live on a hill. It was a light package. It's very windy. It was down at the edge of the woods. <laughs> so we had to go find that. Thankfully, I, I thought to look and say, hey, when was that package supposed to come? And luckily, it's nothing super important, uh, you know, and went out hunting for it and found it down near the woods before it rained or snowed on it. So, <laughs> you know, it's it's these silly moments that just you got to laugh and just kind of roll with it. And you keep moving along and, you know, even when it's not great, it's still good. It really is. Life is life is good and it's going to be what you make it. And, um, you know, I'm so truly blessed to have so many amazing people in my life and that my students are as incredible as they are. And instantaneously when I just ask for help and they're, they're stepping right up and, you know, other staff members are like, let us know what you need. And so, uh, so we're headed, we're headed to that nice break, that nice breather. Uh, again, I truly hope that all of you can take that moment, you know, even if it's an hour coming up in the next few days, the next week, like give yourself that moment to breathe, you know, slow down just a little bit. I don't know about other parts of the country, but some parts around here, I just feel like I'm kind of running, running, running all the time. And, and so it's nice to get that week and just shut down. Uh, that was the other interesting part of my day is I received an email that there is potential we have to go pivot back to remote after Christmas break. So, you know, to be continued on that one. But it gave me two days to prep. So my students like the hard copies to be able to write, you know, their notes for math and stuff like that. So I handed everything out today. I'll hand out the rest tomorrow. I have classes every other day. 
and uh they were they don't want it and i understand that and i i know we're they're gonna do everything they can not to have us go remote but uh i said to them listen we'll plan for worst case and hope for best case and and so hopefully we'll be going right back after break but you never know all those covid numbers are up and we'll see what happens as as a teacher i don't have any control over it the only thing i can control is hmm send out the email again let's get these worksheets out now so you have them and then whatever it's going to be it's going to be um been there done that last year so uh kind of now to pivot over to remote it's not a huge deal i'm grateful that they gave us the heads up so that we can you know go ahead and do that so to be continued i'll let you know what happens on that everybody i hope you have a fabulous and an amazing night i'm calling it a night have a good one bye